Oh, on the country back roads now. So you're gonna ways of taking me in the back way to avoid all the 95 baloney and everything. So that's cool. Nice change of scenery. Beautiful country up here as we head north. And we're still what? Well, we're getting closer. So close to one o'clock basically when we get up there. Which is beautiful country up here. I just never imagined right off the 695 Beltway it'd be this much country. Oh, we're coming down the home stretch here. Thank goodness, Jesus Christ. What? But it's a country drive, so it really is nice how this dealership really is out in the country. Anybody out there wants to go visit a really nice Harley dealership, it's the Chesapeake Eisenhower location, Darlington. This organization has three dealerships, one in Pennsylvania, next to the York um, Manufacturing Harley-Davidson plant, and another one somewhere else, I think in uh, Pennsylvania, I think. So a three dealership owner and partners. But wow, for me, this would be number three from this specific dealership of purchases within a year's time. From September of last year until today, if this deal goes down, that's three Harleys from this dealership. Wow. And for me, I think this would be like number 16 or 17 purchase of this year of a vehicle, whether it be a motorcycle or a car. <laughs> and then if you add it in from last year to this year, which I did like, I think, 30 vehicles last year, I'd be maybe at 46 or 47 vehicles. <laughs> so if I bought some more things here in the near future, I could, have, I could maybe hit buying 50 vehicles in over a year's time. <laughs> uh, yeah, am I nuts? Yeah, I'm nuts. But anyways, let's get close. Get... I'm going to get the Harleys kind of next to each other, maybe. And I'm going to talk about the plus and minuses. I, think I, I really think I'd say, okay. So here's the brand new CVO Rogue Line. And you know the the latest greatest. So here's the pluses, but here's the minuses. And then let's okay, let's look at my CVO Limited. I believe it's I believe it's a 2019 CVO Limited, which is hard to believe. It's already four model years old, and coming up close to five when the 2024 comes around the corner here. Yeah, that ain't happening anytime soon. But anyways, the uh, you know whole point is the plus and minuses. So uh, maybe we do that when we get to dealership. I mean, for me, the big minus on that CVO Street Clyde was that infotainment center. And I said, I just didn't pay a lot of attention to the road glide because I didn't want to because I really liked that bike. And I just figured, eh, you know, I'm mean, going to get so fixated on that. But anyways, I think on the CVO Street Clyde, that infotainment center, I don't like it. I just don't like that big ass flat screen. I mean, I think Harley blew it there. And then the little ashtray, the little tray that pulls out. To me, that borderline looks kind of gaudy. I just don't really like that. So the CVO Roguelide, I'm not really, I didn't really pay attention to that infotainment center. I would assume it's probably the same damn thing on that front end. And uh, like I say, I think that's, I think that's a turnoff to a lot of people. But it doesn't have that gaudy little tray. That's a conventional side by side. But we'll, we'll look at the bike together. We'll talk about it in. Uh, See if it makes sense. I mean, all sincereness, if it doesn't make sense to end the day, you can always drive the bikes back home. Yeah, right, right. All right, here she is. And how busy are they today? What is it showing like today? Good amount of motorcycles there. I've caught the red light again. <laughs> all right, now the challenge here is this big ass truck and trailer. You know, for me, I think I'm gonna pull up on the back side of the building here. I guess I'll just have to back out and back down because I need to unload my bikes down here. And somebody's got their bike parked right where I should be. So, let's see how this plan plays out. This is always the scary part. Hope the bikes are standing up. That's some pretty good bumps. They are. Thank God. 
All right, here we are. Look at this. Look at this place. Any bad feeling for Harley? You gotta come to Eisenhower. Eisenhower, Harley Davidson. These guys have got product. Look at this product. I mean, nice inventory, great prices. And I'm not gonna go find my man Jimmy and see if we can try to make this thing work. It's all about time. So look at that. So there's my bike. That was my bike I was gonna buy. And I walked away from it. Right there it is. Right. It's over information. So look, this here, this here, they already put it out front. I didn't even know they did that. Here we go, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm thinking, hey, I'm blind. Yep, so the big infotainment center. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I gotta talk to my sales guy. So they, they put the road glide out front. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the gentleman just came here. This dealership, because of my video, and he's from South Jersey, to, buy, to order a CBO. <laughs> wow. So here, here. You, you do that, and I gotta help these people first. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So here it is. Here's the Shree Clyde CVO that I was supposed to buy. That was my motorcycle. I came to closure yesterday. I wasn't willing to get, was not willing to give up two motorcycles for this bike because I really want the Road Glide right motorcycle. I think they did a better job if you take a on the fresh. Of him, then it costs more. Okay, well, it already costs plenty. Trust me on that. So, anyways, the whole point is. I was on the page of that bike. I canceled the deal. Yeah, you would. And then they told me this came available again. So this is pretty cool here. Look at this here. This here actually scoops the air into you as a rider. So you get better airflow right there. And they redid the handlebars. I really like the ape hanger style handlebars. I don't like the infotainment set. I think that's gaudy. I think they should have kept the gauge look. It's really kind of too bad, even though you get the digital uh, gauge look. Um, the front, this is so similar to the, the CVO, or I should just say the Road Glide front. I mean, to me, the, the front is so similar to the, the Shark, I guess you could call it. So, wow. We got people here wanting to look at it. Let them do this. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Here we go again. We're going to try it one more time. We're going all the way down. All the way down here. Wow. The guy sweetened the deal. Wow. Look at that, huh? So I wonder what's going on. I'm just kind of curious of why he's even going back. I thought he was already checked out. You gonna check me out? See that? Look at, that. Look at how he walks that bike. Did you do that? That's crazy. Now why is it all the way back here? Why don't you bring it all the way back here? I gotta fill it up. Oh, gotta give me some gas. I gotcha. Yeah, I hear you. I guarantee you, it's like you should have bought that one. I know, but it's six grand more. Six thousand dollars more. Wow. Can't get excited about the street climb. Hope the doors are closed on me. All right, I gotta unload my bikes. That's the next part of the adventure here. Right here, I'm gonna start unloading bikes. And there she is. So for you, does that bike feel different to you? No, oh, it's different. It's a big bike, it's heavy. Yeah, exactly. Even though it's lighter. It's lighter, but it's still heavy. Yeah, I mean, I totally turned down the street glide for the road glide. Wow. Wow. Is that yours? Wow, Skr. All right, the Harley Davidson. Uh, Street Piglet ST. It's unloaded. Harley Davidson CVO Limited. It's unloaded. Yeah, how crazy am I, right? Yep, how crazy am I to give these things up? Wow, I just purchased a 2023 Harley Davidson CVO Road Glide, and the deal went down, and I just gave up two of my really nicer favorite Harleys. Very challenging decision. How crazy am I to give up a 2023 Harley Davidson ST Piglet Edition. 2019 Harley Davidson CVO Limited with tons of accessories. How crazy am I? Crazy. 
Yes, this was challenging. This was extremely challenging for me to part with these Harley Davidson Street Glide, CBO Limited. If you look at the layout and the dash, I just think that's so much nicer a setup. I mean, I think that they really didn't do a good job. Wow, everybody's here showing up. I don't think they did as good a job on the infotainment center. I just think that this big screen, they should have been more creative, I think, on that. So anyways, there's just one of the minuses, I think, on the CVO Rogue Glide over the previous generation CVS. Oh my goodness. And yet another another motorcycle comes into the trailer. Wow. Yeah, am I crazy? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's the crazy day. Hey, I'm here at Eisenhower Chesapeake Holly Davidson in Darlington, Maryland, in a brand new 2023 Harley Davidson CVO Street Glide just came available. Some deals actually fell through, but let me tell you what, this is a great deal. This is the price. You asked for Jimmy. As for Jimmy here at Chesapeake Harley Davidson, Darlington, Maryland, he has available, just came available, a 2023, 121, freshly renewed, brand, brand new, badass CVO, come get it. 